And then we're going to go down seven frets for a C. And then we're going to come up five frets for an F. And then we're going to come up five frets to the eleventh fret for a B flat. And we're going to go down seven frets to the fourth fret for the E flat. And we're going to come up five frets to the ninth fret for an A flat. And then we're going to go down seven frets to the second fret for a D flat. And then we're going to come up five frets to the seventh fret for our G flat. And then we're going to think of it as an F sharp so that we can keep our fourths in mind. F sharp of five frets is a B. And when I'm practicing, I try to practice more than one thing at a time. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little right hand technique and use two fingers. And so that's going to put two notes on either one. So it'll be like this. So it'd be like uh, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat or F sharp, B. Okay. And if I wanted to double that up, I could go. See what I'm doing? Okay, that'll really help you if you go in force and uh, call out the names of the notes as you do it. That'll really help you. Now, one other little variation on that is to get you working in the upper, upper structure past the 12th fret. You can go on, so past the 12th fret, and let's do a little exercise. Um, and like I say, when you first start doing this, don't worry about the metronome. You don't want to be a slave to a metronome and uh, struggle with it. You want to just learn it, get to know it, do it a little bit each day. And then after uh, a week or two, then try it with a metronome, okay? So this time we're going to go up past the 12th fret and I'll show you what I mean. We're going to start the same. We're just going to add a little upper higher notes. So B, E, A, and this time we're going to go up for the D to the 15th fret. And then we're going to come back down for the G at the 8th fret. And then this time we're going to go up to the 13th fret for the C. And then we're going to go back for the F. And then we're going to come back to our B flat. And this time we're going to go up to an E flat at the 16th fret. And this time we're going to come back to a, our A flat, the ninth fret. And then we're going to go all the way up to the uh, D flat at the 14th fret. And then down to the G flat or F sharp at the seventh fret. And then we wind up back at our B. So that way we, we got on up here into the notes you probably won't use those very often, but you still know that the notes up here are exactly the same as the notes down here, just an octave higher. Okay, well this lesson's gone a little bit long, so uh, I'm gonna, maybe I'll do a second uh, supplemental lesson to this one. See you later.